guys welcome back to my channel so it's finally getting warm now which means that it is the season for Shatifa Shtray uh, pink soup in Lithuanian so today I'm gonna cook it for the first time and I don't know I really I don't uh, I don't really like this pink soup but anyways I will try to cook it and let people to try it and see if I am a good cook so let's get started Firstly, I need to boil two eggs. Then the recipe says I need to chop the scallions or onions leaves into 1 cm pieces. And then I need to finely chop the dill. And I've never seen dill in Hong Kong. It kind of reminds me of a bad word <laughs> of Cantonese. And yeah, so I have no idea how I should chop them and I'm not sure if this is correct. Next, I need to cut the cucumber into fine julienne and I have no idea how to, like how big it should be like and I have no idea I have eaten cucumber in pink soup before so I just cut it according to my intuition Next, I need to slice the beetroot into fine julienne so I have no idea how I should cut them again and I've never seen beetroot in my life so after I open a package it's quite scary it's, it's very red and purplish and yeah I just cut them like uh, like how I cut an onion yes I have no idea and my, my fingers are all red at this moment I just hope that I wouldn't get a food poisoning the next step is to pour the kefir into a large bowl and add the chopped ingredients into it. I was so surprised to see that kefir is white in color because the package is pink and it's for pink soup so I thought it should be pink in color. And I thought that after I add everything I would have to boil them somehow because in um, Hong Kong most of our uh, traditional soup we have to boil them for several hours and um, yeah this is what we call soup but this one is just I don't know like milk like yogurt or something so finally I cracked the boiled egg and chopped them and put them into the mix the recipe also says that I can add lemon juice or salt to season the soup and we're done tasting time Good. And bit rich. It's yum too. So, should I actually freeze it first? Mm, no. no. I think it's good. I think my my recipe, random recipe, is better than kai kai. If you want the recipe, just comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. Yeah. It's Tim's turn to try now. Right. It's okay. I like it. Rate it. Uh, six or seven out of ten. Not too sour. Mm, a bit after taste. It's a bit too sour, but it's okay. Would you pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> if it's like twenty cents, yes. No, I'm just kidding. I would. In restaurant, is it better than restaurant? Well, it would be better if we would have potatoes yeah. by the side, but but it's okay, I guess. Yeah, hey, I yay, successful! Yeah, nice. Two days later, I just I brought my pink soup to my friend, and she's gonna try it and give me comments. It's really really sunny and windy here, and. Okay, I will let her try now. I think it's getting bad. I hope she wouldn't die from food poisoning. 
it's bad, right? It's no, bad. it's not bad. But it is. It's like bad. I think if you're is like kind of old, but I think it's still eatable. You're so professional, expert. So no, I don't eat it at No, not. It's like nine out of ten, but I think it was ten out of ten, and you forgot X. You forgot X to put it. I, 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 no, or, I or, had it. Yeah, but. Not in this one. Anyways. And uh, Ridicale, uh, I don't know, beetroots? No, no, not beetroots. Cucumber? Uh, no, Ridicale, there are like small beetroots. Oh. Yeah, but it's really nice though. Thanks. I expected less. Thanks. Thanks.